Hey guys, Pat here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today I'm doing some more uh, tinkering with the sawmill. This is LT50 uh, hydraulic. It's a 2012. So, uh, if you guys have been following us for a while, I've, I just got this mill not too long ago. And its biggest sin has been setting. <laughs> so, it, it only had 90.7 hours on it when I bought it. But uh, I'm just going through and making some checks, checking some adjustments, going through the book, and verifying uh, what's working and what isn't. So the mill actually functions. It saws boards. I've done it, but I've, I've already sawed some boards with it. But the brake doesn't work. I'm not going to start the motor, but for when, when you uh, actually engage the engine, you flip the switch down here, and this is the auto clutch, clutch function. If you have a manual mill, it's just going to be handle on the side, which engages and disengages the uh, blade. And the engine engages the engine to the drive wheel to the blade. So when this is turned on, as you can see, the engine rotates up and it pulls the drive belt tight. I'll show you the back side and I'll show you the front side in case you're not familiar. So this is the panel on the left-hand side of the operator. There are 7 16 inch bolts that remove most of the panels on the mill and the panels are on there for safety but uh, 7 16 bolt here 7 16 bolt here and one over on the side and then one underneath here so that's four total and it's kind of tricky getting off of here because there's this little boot on the up down motor on the LT50s on the supers on some of the other mills the motor the up down motor is 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 back in here so a little bit of work to get that around that boot and then that comes right off now here's the drive belt right now it's engaged I have the auto clutch on or if you've got a manual mill you have the uh, lever engaged to rotate the blade and so now this is tight so on the right hand side of the mill or as you're at the operator's station you're on the log loading side or here's where the log would be setting right here so underneath is this guard and it is held together a bolt here a bolt here and then two bolts underneath here just uh, next to your chain and your uh, your felt oiler guard to simplify things I just put this in place I already have the 7 16 uh, bolts uh, removed it's got this one here that's loosened up and then this drops out of the way it work it around your blade guide assembly and so that exposes everything in here and again we have we have the uh, auto clutch engaged so the belt is tight it has tension on it and the brake is loose the brake drum here has nothing touching it right now when I disengage the brake the belt gets slack and then the brake is supposed to engage so now this is supposed to come tight is just to stop the drive system from rotating this is going to be stopped or disengaged right now and this is going to be loose and it's supposed to be loose enough just to where you can actually uh, remove it so it's totally slack right now so the adjustment bolts for the brake are these two carriage bolts right here and they claim that if the brake is not stopping the saw is not stopping the blade from rotating then you loosen those carriage bolts and drop it down an eighth of an inch, retighten, and see if that works. So now we have to engage the engine or in, engage the auto clutch in order to loosen the band or the brake strap. Shut off the key. Now that the auto clutch is engaged, and this is in the run position uh, this is where we're sawing logs this is tight the brake is loose uh, we can go in here with a 9 16 ratchet 
or tool of your choice and loosen that. Now before I do that, I want to make a mark right in here. This is just a pers personal uh, add-in. I'm just going to make a mark right there that's an eighth of an inch. Because there's no reference marks on here. Okay, now we're loose. They claim to drop down an eighth. That's pretty close to an eighth. The other thing is there's a flexibility in here. You know, these can slide this way and this can go up and down. You know, I want to make sure that this is square. Now they say the maintenance interval on these are once every 200 hours. But I guess that all depends on if you start and stop the clutch every time when you're making a pass. I'll double check that for square. They don't say anything about squaring it, but that just makes sense to me. That's not square. It's a lot of room for flopping around in there. I'm going to make sure my flat part isn't up on that weld and it's fitting tight against this. There's nothing else that I know of that a guy can square that to, so it looks like that was where it where it was originally so and what I mean by originally before I cut the bolts loose on it or loosen the bolts on it that's where it was I don't think it's ever been adjusted because there's no scarring of the paint or anything like that I can't verify that but it doesn't look like it's been adjusted before okay that's it so you before you start the engine uh, make sure that you disengage the auto clutch or take it out of the run position and start the engine and go ahead and try to uh, See if that stops the see if that stops this wheel in here uh, If it doesn't then you need to make some more adjustments. So anyway, I hope that helps out somebody and uh, Take care and God bless